Hey, what's going on everyone? Toshi coming out to a favorite and new order gear fusion video. Today I will be showing Lobelia once more because this unit actually allowed me to literally clear all the content in the game. I am not joking. Lobelia is shaping up to be the strongest character I've ever seen in all of our new gear. And that's something that is just I can't believe I'm saying that, but she is really fucking broken. And I honestly feel like I should delete the last video because I didn't really explain the character too well. But with the S3 of the Lobelia, she actually lands it no matter the target. The only thing you have to worry about is the resistance of the enemy target. If the target has high resistance, then you have to have higher accuracy and the 13% innate resistance, right? You have to worry about that too. But this ignores elemental, like the element of the character. So if she is hitting a, because she is a blue unit, right? She's a blue unit. If she's hitting a green unit, she will still land the debuffs as long as, you know, it bypasses the resistance. However, it does not mean she will actually do the damage. It's still a 50% chance of whether it deflects the damage or not deflects the damage. So I, I should mention that as well. But because of the skill cooldown right here, it is reduced by one turn with the scopes. It actually aligns with the skill cooldown of this. So if you can get this skill to three, it's even better. But having it at four perfectly aligns with this skill. You actually do not need to increase, like you do not have to scale this up more if you don't want to, because these you use the S3 first and you use the S2, and then every time your S3 is up, your S2 will also be up. Um, but you know, if you knock yourself out, if you still want to go ahead and scale it up further, I just decide not to. And then you actually do not need to have your own damaged gear. My Lobelia has 84% status accuracy, and I just have her own tanky stats. Her goal is to just continue applying the debuffs, right? So having her on the speed set here with speed, HP, defense, just you need her to be tanky. I have her on some accuracy here, some more HP, some more defense, just some tanky. Some more status accuracy, some defense, HP, just really, really tanky. Even more tank, some status accuracy there. Got some speed. Just honestly, whatever I could find gear for this slot, because I don't have very many good pieces for it. I'm going to call this the ring piece. I don't have very many good ring pieces, so whatever I could slot in, or rather, it's not a ring, this is like a necklace piece. I didn't have very many necklace pieces, so yeah. And then this one here, um, whatever I could find, I just slot it on, so I have this attack percent, but it is a part of the accuracy set. That's all that really matters is her getting the 20% extra status accuracy. So these are stats, and now I'm going to just be honest, like you can build her in damage, having her in damage is fine, it's good. If you have better gear than I do, then build her in damage. But this is deceptively really, really nice. She is nice and tanky. She has the status accuracy to land the debuffs, and that is her job is to land the debuffs. So as I said before, this character literally allowed me to 100% all the content in the game. I kid you not. I used her for literally stage 9 of every single boss. It was just for stage 9 Centaur. Easy clear. Stage 9 of Captive City. Easy clear. Stage 9 of this one. Easy clear. And stage 9 of the Octo. Easy clear. Lobelia is fucking broken. Just wow. Although Sirius did really play a part in this one though. Sirius is also really good. So this is the team I actually use for Centaur. This is relatively safe. You do not have to worry about. I should honestly go ahead and change the name while I'm at it. We'll call this one Centaur. I cannot spell. We'll call this one Centaur. And then, yeah, this one will be Centaur. So this is the team I used here. Neo has a defense down attack up for the team. Kareem, you know, heals relatively safe support to use with your characters. Attack down. Speed down doesn't really matter, but the miss is really nice because the boss will deflect every single hit. Because with them being 50, with them being water and the boss, the Centaur boss being fire, right? There's a 50% chance already to miss. But with the addition of her having a 50% accuracy decrease for the enemy, you're gonna de they're going to deflect every single hit on your allies. So you do not need to run Jesse. You can actually use her with Cream, and you'll have relatively safe Centaur 9 runs, which makes her really, really good for that boss. Okay, next up we have the green boss, the one that has the, I don't know the boss name, but the one that has the HP defense set and the attack set. So golem i guess you want to call it i actually used this team here i swapped out the cream for luisia luisia is really really good she puts down these 
she well she decreases the accuracy right of the boss which is really nice 60 percent chance she also removes debuffs which is really really good she heals allies and in case anything goes wrong she has a revive in her kit removes all debuffs if there is no target for revival so fluent filling an hp's ally an hp's ally bar and allies hp bar is really really nice if you do not have to um you know revive anyone and then low belly of course just putting the debuffs on the boss like i said before even though the boss is green in this one you do not need to actually land the the damage you just land the debuffs and literally these two it is a longer team don't get me wrong it is a longer time to kill the boss with this team but they can clear it that's the thing they can clear it all right and then for the harp the harp boss right we would call it the harp boss i use this team here my uh ru siri team and this was here and here and is really good against boss because of the elemental advantage and her being a nice cleanser she pushes up attack bar as well on two of her skills very very good and then lila you know lila we know lila does lila does a lot of things one shotting the boss is really good and then sirius is actually the defense down unit in the team but sirius is just all around a really really solid single target damage dealer very very good and lobelia is doing also lobelia things with the debuffs very very good and i want to say this one was definitely the easiest one for the octo boss i actually use this team here cream milvis jesse and lobelia now the thing is, is Lobelia and Milvus are going to be the damage dealers. Um, in this case, you would actually swap the gear you have on Lobelia and give her some more damage gear. Um, your goal is to just do AOE attacks and also make sure you do not hit the boss. Because if you do hit the boss, then the little minions will attack you. So that's why it was hard to opt for using like Lila, right? If you don't have crazy cracked gear... Um, and you do not have like Chahai or whatever, then you can't really one shot the boss. It's hard because you're going to constantly get attacked at 50%. It's too much RG, right? You don't want to constantly get countered. So it's really annoying. So up for a, this is a slower team, but it still clears it because we have the debuffs, right? Lobel lands all the debuffs and the whole enemy team. And then Milvis gives the defense down and she gets a reset on her S2, which more or less, if you give Milvis good gear, right? Either the crit damage set or the attack set. She's going to always get a reset in her S2 if she at least lands her defense buff, defense down, right? And Jesse, you know, is here to provide the the uh, defense buff to the team. Also having elemental advantage and then giving a huge shield to the team as well. And then Cream does Cream things, right? She keeps all the team up, healing. She's very, very nice for that. And it's, she's always nice for relatively safe runs, right? It might not be fast, but your runs are at least going to be safe. Very, very safe. Lastly, 910, the latest addition to the story we have. This was the hardest without a doubt, right? You go from 99 to 910, and it goes from 0 to 100 real quick. If you're not prepared, you will get obliterated. And Lobelia actually allowed me to clear this story stage. You might be asking, what? Lobelia? Yes, Lobelia allows you to change the stage because you can constantly apply the debuffs to the boss. You have to build her tanky, right? You have to build your little belly tanky because you do not want her to get one shot by that boss, right? Make her somewhat tanky. Give her some decent gear. And this is a team I use. It is a slower team, but at least it gets the job done. You're constantly applying the debuffs to the boss and to the minions from Lobelia, right? The attack down, the decrease hit, and also the um, speed decrease is very, very nice. You have Jesse to give a huge shield to the team, also giving the um, defense up, right? And then the safeguard is really nice. Milvis is the AoE damage dealer. You have her with the defense down. You have the S2 for the resets. She also helps speeding up the first two waves of enemies, right? To get to the boss stage. And then Luisia is her safe net, safety net, right? If anything goes wrong, she provides a revive for the team. She also, her S2 decreases the accuracy of the target. And since the boss is green, you're most likely going to land it unless you just get 13% of innate resisted, right? She also cleanses the buffs, right? anything does come through the boss right let's say the run fails or anything like that she has the s2 to decrease the to get rid of the debuffs and she also heals with that s2 as well very 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 solid team this is what i use to actually clear this annoying story stage jesus dude this was the worst i nearly cried but not to do it in hard and i'm sure lobelia will be very very nice in this one as well but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. There wasn't really a gameplay type of video. I kind of wanted to just put this out there because I think Lobelli is without a doubt a very strong broken OP must pick up unit. If you ever see her in a shop, 
please pick her up. She is so fucking good. In my opinion, she is the best PvE character in the whole game. You might be thinking I'm crazy, but she allows you to cheese literally everything. Not only that, you can honestly put her in a a um, burn team, right? Even for arena, you put in a burn team. You can put in a burn team for PvE content, right? Because this actually increases the duration of debuffs that the target is carrying by one turn. So you can put her. I'll show. Heck, I'll even show you a crazy wacky idea, right? I'm gonna show you a wacky team you can honestly use with your globe. Belia, let me actually go ahead. You can do something crazy like this. This can be your team you use for PvE content. I mean, we have the Globelia for the debuffs, and she also increases the duration of the debuffs. Then we have Pavonius who gives the <clears throat> Pavonius gives the burns, right? We know Pavonius does. She does most of her damage through her burns. So with Globelia increasing the duration of the burns, you're always going to be dealing damage over time very very strong that you can build her tanky right give her a lot of attack make her tanky she will land her burns give her some status accuracy as well because you want the burns land right of course and then claudia will give the defense down for the team she will also decrease their move bar as well um so this is a very crowd controlling team but it's very nice for pve content and then we know what here does here is a safety net she also looks really nice okay that's why i often put her in team because her skin is great it's one of the best skins in the whole wide game but she also increases the move bar of the team by her s2 and her s3 as well i can actually show you that right now so the s3 gives a 15 percent action bar to the whole team but it gives a 50 percent to her which is really nice really nice and then s2 gives a 35 percent attack action the s2 gives a 35 percent action bar to the lowest hp ally um so in this case, it would probably be like Claudia or something. And that's that's fine. I mean, you would want Claudia to be the one. Claudia is really going to be the damage dealer in this team. So you probably build your Claudia on a lot of the. I'm going to build this team for Arena. You build Claudia on a lot of damage. She'll do damage for S2, S1, and she'll also strip as well. So that's really, really important. Jesus, this attack bar is just insane. Oh my god, this team is insane. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. That being said, Lobelia is a must-pull unit. If you ever see this unit ever again, pick her up. She is going to change your account forever. And that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. hope you all got something out of this. I will be uploading another video, most likely the Beginner's Run Part 4 today as well. So two uploads in one day. Woo! Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.